Today I'm going to be making one of my favourite Easter recipes, a roast turkey crown with a delicious stuffing. And the stuffing has a little bit of a twist because it's got some pomegranate seeds, some almonds and also some orange and it makes an absolutely fantastic stuffing to accompany the turkey crown. Trim and wash the spring onions and chop finely. Tear the bread into pieces. Chop the celery finely and some fresh orange zest. And now we're going to use the food processor to prepare our stuffing. I'm going to mix all of the ingredients together, so I'm just adding the bread first. Then I'm going to add the celery, the spring onions and the almonds. And add the orange zest. And now I'm going to process the ingredients until they resemble fine breadcrumbs. So now I'm going to add the pomegranate seeds and then I'm just going to crack an egg into the mixture and the egg is used to actually bind the breadcrumbs together. And then we've got the juice of one orange. Now for this stage we really just want to pulse the mixture just for a few seconds because we want to keep some texture in those pomegranate seeds, we don't want them chopped up too finely. To complete the stuffing, I'm just going to season it with some salt and black pepper, give that a quick mix round and then I'm transferring that to a greased oven dish and I'm just going to spread that around so it's nice and flat on the surface and that's our stuffing ready to go in the oven. Preheat the oven to 190 degrees, gas mark 5. To prepare the turkey, I'm going to take 150 ml of chicken stock and just pour that over the surface of the turkey. To that I'm going to add 300 ml of fresh orange juice and this orange juice still has all the bits in as well. And then season with some salt and black pepper and that's our turkey crown ready to go into the oven. Roast the turkey for 20 minutes per kilo plus 70 minutes. Baste the turkey a few times throughout the cooking process and this will keep the turkey lovely and moist. Cover the turkey loosely with foil to keep it golden brown. Check the turkey is cooked by inserting a metal skewer. The juices should run clear. If they're still pink, return to the oven until the juices do run clear. And now I'm just going to cover the turkey with some foil and leave it to rest for about 20 minutes. Whilst the turkey's resting, pop the stuffing into the oven for about 20 minutes. So there you have it, one of my favourite Easter recipes. And I'm just going to finish it off with some sautéed leeks and also a few pomegranate seeds just sprinkled over the top.